Hey everybody, this is Nicole Pascal with Topaz Labs. I am here today for Quick Tip Thursday to tell you a little bit about cartoon creations with Topaz Clean. We're going to go through about three different images and show uh, the different effects that you can get with Topaz Clean. Okay, if you have any questions um, during the presentation, you can type them into your questions module on the GoToWebinar panel. Um, we have Ashley Robinson, our product manager, here today to answer um, as many questions as she can. And if you have any additional questions, you can send them to me after, um, after the presentation. Okay, let's start here with our first image. This is a picture of my lovely niece Ainsley. Uh, the first thing I'd like to tell you about is, is a little bit about the workflow of Clean. Clean is going to come at the end of your image process, post-processing. Um, so here we have this image of my niece, which is pretty noisy because uh, I, I accidentally had a really high ISO while I was taking these images. So I've processed it through denoise, and I've also processed it through adjust just to get a little bit of a um, exposure correction and, and brighten it up and, and get some tones. What, since I'm actually taking clean, um, my image into clean to create a cartoon-like effect, I'm really focusing on the colors versus if it's looking really harsh or, or anything like that. So, because we're going to be smoothing it out pretty substantially with clean. So now I'm going to make a background copy of my adjust layer. And I'm going to take that into Topaz Clean. Topaz Clean is actually an edge and texture enhancement. It, it can be used for many different um, effects, including um, subtle detail extraction when you want to get rid of really small details within your image. Uh, skin cleaning effects it works really well in portrait images and um, so definitely some other stylization um, as well. But today we're here to talk about Clean's ability to quickly turn your image into um, cartoon creations. So with this image I will kind of give you an overview of what everything is here on the right as well as our presets. Our presets are going to be over here on the left and if you're looking for a more flattened cartoon like effect, the cartooned preset is going to be a great place to start. So if you just click on that, and that will get you started. Uh, for some images it will be perfect. For other images the effect might be a little too flat. And you might not have enough depth or detail. I'm going to go ahead and show you what we can do to kind of put this towards where you want it to go. So for this image I'd like to have it a little bit more detailed, a little less flat. So let me tell you a little bit about these sliders. The clean tab is going to be really important in creating your cartoon effects because this strength slider is going to determine the overall strength of, of all of the effects that you're applying to this image. And increasing it is going to smooth out all the texture within your image while retaining some of the important structure details, but it flattens it quite a bit. So I'm going to actually take that strength a bit down. Okay, here's before and here's after. And the threshold is going to be really important within this type of cartoon effect as well. Um, the threshold actually determines the size to be removed within your image, the size of the detail, and it actually increases or decreases the depth. Okay, so let's go ahead and decrease or increase, I'm sorry, the depth, which actually you decrease the value. So I'm going to take this down to 0 0.31. And right away you can start to see that a lot of the um, facial features and different tones within the face have, have been brought back in. Now that my threshold is down um, a little bit, I want to increase my strength actually back up. because that will smooth it out for us just a little bit more. 
So here's where we started. And here's where we are now. And I'm going to increase my threshold value, which will decrease the depth of um, the detail that's being taken out. So that's just going to smooth out that area on her cheek. It starts to smooth out the tones just a little bit. The radius is going to have sort of the same effect except in pixels. A higher value generate generally is going to create a flatter image. And I'm going to take that a little bit down because I want to bring back in some of the depth. Okay, so here's before and here's after. All right, so now if you go down to your Edges tab, this is going to be the other important tab to work with when you're working with these cartoon-like effects. The Accent slider is going to actually give you a little bit more, um, controls the degree of the edge enhancement. So if you want to bring back in some of these edges just a little bit, that is where you can and work with that. Now. Note that as you increase this accent slider, you're going to start bringing in some of that curly um, effect that clean can have. And it might not be appealing to some of your images. So I'm actually going to leave that at two, which is a nice, um, more flat images image for this type of cartoon effect that I'm looking for. But if I want to increase, say, the her hair, increase that um, sharpness there or within the catch light in her eyes, I can do that by going directly down to my sharpness slider and taking that up. So it increases some of the um, lines within the image without actually get getting that curly effect within your image. So. I'm pretty happy here. Um, note that your texture tab, you're going to want to most likely keep that down to zero and not bring any texture back in if you're looking for this more flattened cartoon-like effect. So now I'm going to press OK and process it back. I do want to tell you um, a couple things. Uh, we have a lot of users who, who ask why they see the effect a little bit more within the actual program of detail, and then when they process it back to Photoshop, it doesn't seem as strong. And most likely the, the issue, or usually the issue, is just that you're not viewing it at 100%. See right here we're viewing it at 50%, but if we increase our zoom to 100%, we'll see that the effects we were viewing within clean are actually there. So that is one type of cartoon creation. I'll do a couple more quick ones for you. That way you'll have all sorts of different ideas going on. Hopefully you get inspired to produce your own cartoons. Okay, so this one is a cityscape of Chicago and it was kind of a muted, um, dreary day, and I wanted to bring it into clean with still kind of muted colors, but I really wanted to bring out some of those, those, some of the colors at least. So I took it into adjust. Again, I focused only on the tones, not necessarily how great it looks here, because this does look a bit harsh, and I, but. Again, I'm focusing on just the tones and the highlights and shadows. So now I'm going to take that and make a background copy. Take that into clean. And with this particular image, I'm looking more towards a vectorized type of cartoon. Clean lines with very flat areas, but still clean lines. And let me go to fit over here. Okay, now we can see the entire image. And I'm going to go down here to reset all because this is not working for me. <laughs> so reset all. Okay, here I'm just going to go play with our sliders and not worry about the uh, presets over here. So I'm just going to increase my strength and see what that does. 
Okay, immediately it starts to flatten out and smooth out all of my um, images. You'll start to see windows disappear, um, certain details uh, begin to blend in with their background. So here's before and here's after. Okay, and now I'm going to go to my threshold where again the um, is determined the 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 size of what details are going to be coming out. So I'm going to actually increase this to take some of those windows and smaller details within the buildings out and let's see what happens. Okay, and it's starting to get even more flat, so that's great. Again, I'm wanting a really flat, more vectorized shape type of um, cartoon here. I'm going to increase my radius as well because that will continue to start to flatten the image out. Okay, so here's before, here's after. Now, this is pretty flat and I want to accentuate my edges, so I'm going to come down here to my edges and take that to about 2 and see what happens. It's going to start to clean up my edges and bring back in some of those strong lines, but in more of a cartoon-like effect versus reality. Now I'm going to come down here to my radius and bump that up just a little bit. And I'm going to increase my sharpness as well just a little to continue cleaning up those edges to allow for really nice shapes to take place. Clean allows for a lot of stylization and a lot of different ways of, of working with the, this type of vectorized versus stylized and all different sorts of edges. And so it's a lot of fun. I'm actually going to bring back in just a tiny bit of texture. Okay, and here's before and after. So really quickly I was able to create something that was very stylized and, and really actually a beautiful piece of digital art. So let's say okay to that. And I have one more for you. And I just want to show you the curly smooth effect that we have in, that we have in our clean program. It's actually very popular. Uh, effect, so I, I definitely want to get to that real quick. Here was my original image. Took it into adjust and in one minute had this, so I think it um, definitely brought out some shadows and some of the lines within the fog area. So I'm going to go down to background copy or a copy of that layer, filter, clean. We actually have a curly smooth preset, so I'm just going to click on that. And what that's going to do is give you really stylized edges. It's going to have a curly effect on any strong line. It starts to curl. And this is actually a very popular with fo uh, foliage and, and leaves and, and trees. It can have a very nice uh, effect. So I'm going to come in here and show you how to manipulate this curliness within here. You can make it a little bit stronger by taking your accent up. Okay, and as you can see, all of these lines got a bit stronger. Here's before, here's after. Okay, you can take your radius down, which will manipulate the size of the actual edges and take some of that contrast away. And then your sharpness will be able to um, make those edges a little bit more defined or a little bit less defined. Here's before and here's after. So within Clean you're able to make all sorts of stylized cartoons and it's a real simple process if you know what your sliders are, are there to help you with. So I hope that helps in your production of cartoons and I will answer a couple questions if you want to stay online with us. Give me one moment, pull it up.
Nina asks, can I erase part of it? Absolutely. So let's uh, press OK here. And I'll show you a quick way to erase. So let's say I wanted to come to my image of my, my niece here. Um, and let's say I wanted to erase the, the eyes so I can see her natural eyes. I'm going to go ahead and go to 100% come up here and what I'll do is I'll just go to a layer mask so I'll go up to layer layer mask and I'm gonna reveal all so nothing is hidden and it's gonna be a white layer mask over here and then I'm going to make sure I have a black paintbrush so I'm just gonna click and get my black color here to be as my foreground and click on my paintbrush uh, to make it really obvious, I'll keep my opacity at 100%. It's normal. It needs to be a very soft brush. And you can just come over here, make sure your layer mask is the one that's selected, and just paint it back in. We can even take our eyelashes here a little bit. So you can see a little more clearly. Okay, so I'll show you before and after. Here's before I painted the natural back in and after. So the same concept can be applied of painting the effect in. If you want to paint it in, you can come up here to layer, layer mask, hide all. Well, let's get rid of this particular layer mask. Okay, layer, layer mask hide all and it will hide the effect completely and then you can paint back in the effect and make sure you're on your white brush now because now you have a black layer mask. So now I'm able to maybe just paint her face in or something like that. But you get the idea. So Nina, yes you can. Uh, Joe, yes you can also use a smart object layer. All right. Well, it looks like a lot of those questions were answered by Ashley. Thank you so much, Ashley. Again, thank you so much, and I hope, uh, hope you had fun, and we'll see you next time. Take care.